Bill Gowdy checking in at one of my favorite places. <laughs> you guessed it. I'm at the gun range. Today I'm going to bring you back to 1984 when I got this Ruger single six new model. They've made this model for a long, long time, but this is a 1984 model. And I've shot, it's a combo. It's got the 22 long rifle and the 22 Magnum. Just check it out, I'll show you. I've shot the heck out of this gun. This is, uh, I don't know if you can see that right there. New model, single six. Single action. I'm going to shoot the 30 grain V Max mag rounds out of it. This is the 22 long rifle cylinder. I got the mag cylinder in right now. So there's a look at that 22 V Max. Pretty devastating, I'll tell you. Let's uh, see how it shoots, shall we? That's a good shooting gun. I'm telling you, it's rugged, it's dependable, heavy duty, and I really like it other than the fact that it's single action. I'm a really more of a double action guy, but hey, I got that back in, back in the day, and man, I've shot a lot of squirrels with it. Yeah, that's a good one. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do a chicken in the Dutch oven. One can of chicken broth, one whole chicken, zucchini from the garden, that's the last bit, mushrooms, peppers from the garden. Yeah, look at that. That's the last of those too. I got a, I got a few left, but onion and garlic, that's all it takes. Put it in the camp, made Dutch oven. Oh, you know what? I, I got the, a little secret going on here. I'm going to pour that chicken broth in, but it's going to go in the bottom. This is a camp made grill. Fits just right in the 12 inch Dutch oven. And that will keep the bird up off of that. I'll show you. at the goodness. <laughs> That's pre-goodness. I'm not sure why the days are never long enough. <laughs> Even when the days are long, they aren't long enough. I'm running out of light. But that sure is, it's, it's cooking along now, good. We'll just let it simmer along there like that for an hour and then we'll check on it. I don't know, it's probably too dark for you to see. <laughs> I got my lights on, but that don't matter. I forgot to tell you. Oh, look at this. 
One whole chicken here. That's looking. Oh, and it smells so good. It's been on about 45 minutes, and that is looking really good. Look, look, look. Uh, can you see that? It's pulling away from that wing right there. It's just steaming in that. Um, the juices. Look at look at how the onion. Can you see the onion? Yeah, yeah. They're getting. It's almost done. And there's still juices in the bottom. Mushrooms are looking good. Now I, I want you to notice. I put the breast side down towards the coals, and I can do that because I got the trivet. Now, if I didn't have that trivet, I'd turn that chicken over and put that backside down because there's not much meat back here and a lot of a lot of bones. But uh, because I got the trivet in there, I can just steam the thickest part of that chicken. And then, of course, on the inside, I put uh, peppers and onion and garlic. Yeah, whole cloves of garlic. I'm going to let it cook a little longer. I mean, it looks plenty juicy. It's not drying out at all, so just let it cook. And the other thing about that trivet, I don't, I, I did turn this, but I don't have to uh, like you would if, if that was directly in contact with the bottom. It's no, no direct contact, so yeah, it's a lot more forgiving this way. It's been about an hour and a half. Let's check it see what it does. Oh yeah. It smells so good. Oh yeah, this looks real good too. There's still, you can still, I don't know if you can see the juices bubbling down there, but that onion on the side, yeah, the zucchini looks done. I'm going to add, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to add those coals right on the top for just uh, oh, about 15 minutes. Just get this a little browner. Yeah, it looks like a boiled chicken right now. <laughs> You know, and really, it's just steamed in the chicken broth. Mushrooms are looking good. Everything looks good. Every, the onions look tender. Yeah. I think it's about ready. I, I, I want to brown it just a little bit. You look at the goodness yes that's the finished product right there and that's by adding the coals onto the top it browned it up nicely let's dig into that shall we look at that peppers mushrooms zucchini more mushrooms more uh, garlic and yes Chicken wings, my favorite. There's a prune and a garlic clove. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm. That's chicken, all chicken meat. Mmm. That is so good.
cool. Bill Gowdy and Lucy Lou checking in. Doing a little rail fanning. Yeah. And catching some catfish at the same time. Rail fanning because that right there is railroad tracks. And those are coal cars that are being unloaded and I don't think you can see the building that they're being unloaded in right there but going up that going up that hill as a conveyor let's see if I can zoom in there's a they empty it down in the hopper house and then they run it up that conveyor and then they use a bulldozer and they bring it out down that conveyor and load it onto the barges and then take it on down the river Kind of a neat operation. It used to go all the time. <laughs> Don't see it as much now, nowadays. All right. Beautiful day, catching a few cats, having fun. You wait till you see your face on that one. That's what I'm talking about. four pounder anyway. Oh. Yep. Yeah, what a way to finish up the day, huh? Here's today's catch. Look at the size of that drum, will you? I'll weigh him. <laughs> yeah. Got some bluegill on night crawlers. Yeah. On catfish rig on the bottom. Can you believe that? Yeah, look at this. These are those are just just perfect pan fryers. Look at this. This is a little bit on the small end, but I'll tell you what, I like them smaller ones better. This is probably the biggest catfish. I don't know, two, two and a half pounds probably. Oh, that was fun. Got supper. Well, looks like he's not quite five pounds, four and three quarters probably. I bet he's got a nice size set of stones on him. <laughs> I hope there's no worms in there. Hope there's no parasites. We'll check them out.
Three, two, one, Cody. One of my favorites. There's some catfish chunks. There's some um, whole fryers in there. It doesn't get any fresher. Just a couple hours ago, <laughs> them babies were swimming out there in the Mississippi River. Now they're going to be. Telling you, it smells like popcorn, like the theater popcorn. I want to talk about look at the goodness. cold vessel of amber fluid. Oh, makes for a long day, but that doesn't get any better than that.